once LA goes on that 13 3 run, takes that lead early fourth, mm-hmm. Giannis Dame score 20 of 23. Yeah. Obviously, the, their pick and roll ends up with the Brook 3 2. What did you see from those two? Just, that you know, again, it's getting better and better. Uh, they're trusting it. Uh, different options out of it. Same action, two man game. Work it. Um, you put two great players together. It's going to take a third player on the other team at some point to help. We kept Brooke lifted. We kept saying at some point, we kept saying at some point someone's going to leave Brooke. And they finally did, and Brooke made the shot. Uh, Malik made a shot, Pat. So it was really nice. Uh, Coach, over here. Um, obviously, Giannis and Dame are you know great all-time scorers, but what is it like when you're able to get double-digit assists from both of them in a one night? Yeah, back-to-back games. Like they're, they, they are very unselfish. Um, they know that they're in the action, but they know it's a team action. You know, so um, they're just making the simple pass to the open guy. Uh, Doc, just the three that Dame hits when he comes and runs back. Just what do you think of the patience from both guys that in that two-man game to get to that, a that last one was great because they went one, two, almost swung it, and you could see it coming. Um, you know, of course, there's very few people that can make the shot, and and Dame can. Can you just speak on the energy that uh, Pat Bev brought tonight, and what has he been brought, bringing to this team since he first uh, got there as well? What you just said, you know, great energy, um, instigator. Today he committed a lot of fouls too, you know, which is fine. Like we want him to be physical. We want him to. Uh, I thought the pressure he put on James tonight was was phenomenal for our team. It, it helped us get back in it, so it's good for us. I seen the first game that he was. Uh... You know, basically, just like I said, trying to coach and things, and they're yeah. helping guys out. You know, how has guys uh, accepted that? You know, oh, he's been great. You know, like everybody does it. You know, I think Giannis grabbed the board today. Like we want guys, uh, they see they're on the floor. I always tell our guys, you're on the floor. If you see something, show me. Let me see it. And a lot of our guys do it. They're starting to do it. Uh, they've been scared to grab the board, so now they're not. Yeah. Uh, just defensively, that two-man game that they had going with Harden and Zubac was yeah. a, a bit of a problem for you. What did you see to get it under control? Like? Well, we switched. We put Giannis on them, on whoever went up, and then he switched and it became a um, you know ISO game for them once that happened. That's what we wanted. This is the best group, but uh, you ruined it. Ruined it. Go ahead. Can you talk about Bees' impact on defense tonight? Yeah, he's great. You know, he's been good. Um, you know, much better this time than in, in Milwaukee. Um, I, he didn't understand what we were trying to get him to do in Milwaukee. Tonight he did. Um, he denied a lot. You know, we tried to deny James the ball, make someone else bring it up. I thought Bees did that for the entire game. And then just how crucial was Dame taking over in the fourth quarter, 16 points total for him? Yeah, I think Dame and Giannis. I just think the combination, you know, I don't even look at them as one. You know, I think the combination of them is what creates all the action. Coach, what do you think about as far as you being appointed? How are you doing, by the way? By the, thank you for it's asking. It's phenomenal you. seeing you. Yeah. It's great to be here to see you. Congratulations all on of this us. selection here. Uh, what, what do you think as far as being appointed in this position as the head coach? Of Milwaukee, what is your philosophy and the thrust going forward? Well, the philosophy is win. (laughs) I mean, that's why you you jump into something like this. Uh, But it was with the right group of guys, honestly. Um, Again, I keep using the words adults, uh, very mature, and and at a place where they all want to win. If we can get it right, which I think we will, I believe that, then we're going to be very tough to beat. What was your most memorable moment being in here? Since you were here, coach, many years, what was your most memorable That's moment? That's a good question. I got to think about that one. Um, probably game seven, Golden State. Game seven, San Antonio. We won both of those. But Golden State, because if you didn't know, there was a lot of stuff going on in that series. Um, I don't need to bring it back, but you understand what I'm saying. And uh, for us to kind of keep our focus with all the stuff off, off the court going on, I thought was the start of the change of our franchise when I was here. Um, it, it really, and, and from that moment, um, the Clipper franchise has been it changed. Now it's one of the better franchises in the league. So I would say uh, that's it. Yeah. 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 About a decade now since Steve kind of uh, yeah. the team. What have you seen this decade now? Just growth. I mean, listen, I took the job, and my number one goal was to make the Clippers a destination. That was what we said. Make it, make this place, um, you know, 
you know, the, the, I told the story. I wanted to cover up the Laker banners, not because it was the Lakers. I just thought it was, it was a Clipper game. And, and let's, let's be the Clippers, you know. And then I wanted to retire a jersey. There was no jersey to retire. And so I looked at our guys and said, so we have to build a tradition here. So there will be. I think there will be jerseys coming forward. I think um, Blake, I think DJ 100% should be. Uh, and I think Chris Paul. So now they're starting to create a history. And uh, that's important for franchises. And that's, that was what we wanted to do. I think this, this will be their 13th season yeah. consecutive when they get the next win. Yeah. Just, again, for a team that... So little wins, so few wins. Yeah. What do you think that means? It means a lot. You know, they move in a new arena. Like, this is a franchise now. You know, it is. Like, and I, it is a franchise that every year people expect now to be good. That's a good thing. Are you looking forward to the series where Lawrence Fishburne will be playing you? Yeah, I am. I am. Um, He told me he can't do the voice, but he can do the walk. So, (laughs) I'm looking forward to it.